Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose on December 15, 2018, 1.30 a.m. Birmingham. Topic, wow, what really happened to cause Cain to get a mark from God so that no man could hurt him or kill him or they would be cursed? What caused that? What did Cain do other than kill Abel? Well, that's a big question right there. Why did he kill Abel? If he was a son of Adam and Eve, they'd been, he'd been like Abel. That is, if he was a son of Adam and Eve, some people call him the serpent seed. And when I say that, you can use your own opinion to where that comes from. And then you go on down the line and you see that Cain married. And by reading the Bible, it appears that he is banished from the Garden of Eden from that side. Why is it that side? Well, because maybe he's not a member DNA-wise of that side. So he's banished from them. He marries. Well, who does he marry? Did he marry one of Adam and Eve's daughters? Or maybe uh, nieces? We don't know, but keep in mind the fall of the watcher angels have not occurred yet. So it's not likely he married there or could he? Let me say this. Did you know that there were female angels too? And they were banished as well. And some say they were banished into the seas. And what are they called? The book of Enoch calls them sirens. S-I-R-E-N-S. -E wow. So did there somehow, some way, did their DNA and Cain's DNA mix? I'm going to throw a monkey wrench in here. I'm just giving you the tips I have. It was that said that he was red-headed, okay? A red-haired man, a hairy man. Kind of like the blog you did the other night of Esau and Jacob. Esau was a hairy man, a red-headed man. He was a hunter. Wow. Let's go on down to Noah. Noah gets drunk one night in his tent. And of Noah's three sons, you had uh, Ham, you had Shem, and you had... Um, Got it written down right here, and I can't find it. But Japheth, but I'm I'm a little bit troubled here because what is it that Ham did, and then went out and told his brothers, "Hey, Dad's in there, drunk or a skunk. Go see what I did." Huh? or he taught them what he did. So they took a blanket and hung it over their shoulder and backed in backwards and covered his father and went out. Well, then Noah awakened and found out what his son, his youngest son, Ham, had done, and he banished Ham. He cursed Ham's seed. I'm looking at it right here. He cursed Ham's seed. It says seeing nakedness, but there's a lot more to it than seeing 
the nakedness. In the ancient commentaries, debated whether seeing someone naked meant rather he may have had sex with him or sodomized him. Some say that maybe his wife was in the tent as well and maybe he went there. But Shem and Japheth, they went in and did the right thing backwards and covered them. And then the lineage of Ham was under curse from their own. And that was Canaan, C-A-N-A-A-N. They were under curse. And then you have the story that I did the other night of uh, uh, Esau and Jacob. Now, here's the other one I want to mention. Who is it that is the hero or the uh, prophet of the Arab world? Muhammad, right? Well, how ironic that Muhammad was a six foot to six foot six redheaded hairy man. And this is who is feeding lies to the Arab world as to why they hate the Jews. Wow. So there's a lot of stuff there that's not known. From Cain killed Abel, and he was called maybe as a serpent seed. In other words, a serpent and Eve, you know, you can go from there. It's just, it's in the studies here that I'm reading right now. And, um, but there's a lot of, uh, a lot of things that we don't really know. And God uncovers a little bit of it as time goes so that we understand more and more of it. And like I said, we come down to these four events that changed the world and that so much sin is in the world and this is where it came from. But keep in mind, there was a flood that killed out perhaps billions on this planet at that time, but it started over. So one person, and it was a daughter-in-law of Noah, that brought it to this side. And that DNA from them never stopped. It kept and it picked up and went on. And um, so is that DNA spread a little bit in all of us? Or is it spread throughout part of the Arab world, the Jew haters? I don't know. But it's uh, I'll do a more in-depth study on this and I'll, I'll take one part at a time, like I did on Esau and um, Jacob the other night, and bring more clarity. Jody Wolf exposed.